Hi everyone, my name is Lina and I'm head of marketing at EPOM. You may already know me from a video about interstitial ads, but today we're taking a step back to look at the whole programmatic ecosystem and in less than 10 minutes I will explain what it is, uh, what it consists of and if it's something you actually need. So grab your coffee and let's start. What is ad tech? Programmatic is a part of a bigger industry, ad tech. Ad tech is an umbrella term that uh, actually includes tools for advertisers and you know ad agencies to manage, plan and launch their ad campaigns, ad networks to manage their customers' businesses and publishers to operate with their inventory and to monetize it better. Let's get to the core of why ad tech is so strong today. And one word is programmatic. So what is programmatic? I'm glad you asked. And simply put, uh, the programmatic is an automated way of buying and selling ads. Uh, because before programmatic, direct deals were the only way to buy media and to negotiate the um, placement, the pricing and so and so on, you either had to meet in person or send countless emails and so on. So as you can imagine, uh, that took a lot of time. I mean, how many ads can you run <laughs> at the same time with the... Uh, with a process like that. But then the programmatic came into the playground and all that negotiation process, uh, it all became automated with a little direct participation on, on your part. So today algorithm handle the sale and placement of uh, ad impressions. Programmatic advertising, however, rose to the fame especially during the last decade and due to the real-time bidding, of course. What is real-time bidding? Real-time bidding, or simply put RTB, is a process of selling and buying display ads through an instant auction where the highest bid wins. So buying ads via RTB is a great way to reach a larger audience optimize cost and you know and just just get better better performance multiple advertisers bid on a single impression of a publisher's inventory and then the winner ad is shown to the user rtb is a big part of programmatic and they are often considered the same thing but they are not programmatic is a whole ecosystem of media buying and selling while rtb is just one way of doing it so to make a memorable statement, RTB is always done programmatically, but programmatic does not only mean RTB. Programmatic Direct Even though RTB is the heart of programmatic advertising and does an amazing job of increasing publishers' fill rates and advertisers' optimization, it is usually used for the remnant inventory. And what is used for the premium or more desired inventory, you might wonder, but of course it is the programmatic direct. Programmatic direct is a form of programmatic advertising, but without an open auction. And it has several forms, private auctions, preferred deals and guaranteed deals. In this model, an advertiser contacts a publisher to purchase its space, typically for a fixed price. And the additional benefit is that advertisers actually get guaranteed ad impressions plus the ads uh, are usually displayed on the publisher's premium ad spots. Key players of the programmatic ecosystem. Let's start from the buy side. Advertisers, agencies and networks. In the programmatic ecosystem, they are typically represented by demand side platform. DSP is used to purchase inventory from the sell side or publishers. And then we have the sell side. This is also the side of publishers or ad networks focused on publishers. In the programmatic ecosystem, they are represented by the SSP or supply side platform. A supply side platform helps manage, sell and optimize inventory on websites and mobile apps. 
and SSP sends out the request to find the perfect ad match for the publisher's inventory. And if real-time bidding is involved, there is usually an ad exchange between these two sides. It matches creatives from the advertisers with the inventory from the publishers. Additional solutions DMP, ATD, and quality scanning tools. While it is clear that the advertiser's side needs a DSP and the publisher's side needs an SSP, some additional tools might be very helpful along the way. DMP or Data Management Platform. The buy side often uses it to enrich its targeting and improve analytics. It is mainly used by advertisers to improve the targeting of the online media campaigns. ATD or Agency Trading Desk. This software provides media agencies with tools for planning, buying, and managing ad campaigns. This is a simplified version of the demand side platform for those who are not ready to invest in an in house team right now. Inventory and ad quality scanning tools these are ad solutions that help minimize fraudulent traffic and inventory coming through the platform of the publisher. R2B to be auction in action. Now that we know all the main characters, let's see how it all plays out. Let's see the key process of the programmatic ecosystem, R2B to be in action. These stories always start with a user visits a website or an app. And once the user visits, the publisher then gathers information about the user, its demographics, browser history, location, website page visit, and more, such as IP, cookies, and so, so on. This data is then transferred to the SSP, uh, and from there, the data is sent to Ad Exchange, and then eventually a bid request is sent to the DSP. The DSP offers creatives targeting specific inventory and audiences, so when those bid requests reach the DSP, it sends back bids on that inventory. And the, the auction is held in an Ad Exchange, and as we know now, the highest bid wins most often. And as a result, the user will see the ad from the advertiser who won, while the publisher will receive the money for each successful impression. Now, an important thing to stress out, this all happens in mere milliseconds. And this, my friends, is how programmatic works. By now, we already know most things about how the programmatic ecosystem works and what tools are most frequently used, so we can play with our tools and assemble our perfect ad tech stack. Publishers usually work either through ad networks or go directly to the SSPs to get their inventory out there, you know, in the world. This depends on the capabilities of their in-house team, and according to recent industry reports, one publisher works with an average five SSPs to increase its fill rates. Advertisers go to the DSPs uh, you know, if they do not want that much control over the inventory or they have a small in-house team, they also can opt for ATD. Advertisers or ad agencies go to DSP to be present in the world of bid advertising. If they do not want that much control over the inventory or maybe they have small in-house team, they might opt for an ATD. They might also integrate with a DMP for more precise targeting and get some anti-fraud tools to ensure that odd fraudsters are not draining their budgets. But ultimately, the perfect programmatic test stack consists of trials and errors. Don't want to make this video an hour long, but I will focus on teaching you how to choose the ultimate DSP. So choosing the one and only DSP. Advertisers, they have two options, self-serve platform or white label solution. Self-serve DSP. A self-serve DSP is a classical representation of what is typically referred to as DSP. It is a platform for automated media buying. A self-serve DSP is the easiest way to begin trading ads programmatically. All you need is to make a deposit, upload the creative, adjust site settings and just let your campaign go. So white label DSP works a bit differently. So white label means you buy a blank yet ready to use platform that can be customized and set up exclusively for your needs instead of signing up 
With white label DSP, you can order exclusive features required for your type of business, receive VIP support, and get uh, very, very deep reporting. So, most importantly, a white label solution can be integrated with custom SSPs. So, it means that you will be totally in charge of where and when your ads are shown. And also, uh, let's not forget about the amount of data that you can have from white label DSP. Because you will have access to all Bitstream data, which means data from the bid request, also known as user data. I highly recommend it paying more attention to this feature because very soon third-party cookies will be dead. In case you are an advertiser who is just getting started or a seasoned player looking for advice, here are my recommendations. Use a self-serve DSP solution if your ad spending is under $10,000 per month. This way you will be paying some bid markups, but their percentage will not dramatically affect overall spending. You are most likely dealing with bigger numbers if you are a big advertiser. So here I recommend using white label DSP, because you will be paying just flat fee. And no hidden fees will be included. Plus, larger scales call for customizable tools and additional features that a wild uh, label DSP can offer. I don't know your budget or background, but if you fit the white label DSP criteria, I highly suggest you contact our team and get a 14-day free trial for a white label DSP, because you lose nothing, but you may be gaining a lot. Well, 10 minutes went by very quickly. And if you want to know more about the ad tech, programmatic, or the difference between self-serve and white label DSP, I will place the links to the sources below in the description. So have a nice day and happy advertising.